Hey everybody, it's Christopher here with Radio Gaming. And today I am here with the Pocket Go S30. And I'm going to be loading up a Super Nintendo game. And this, this some of these are going to be requested titles. Some of these are titles I just wanted to try out on the system. This Pocket Go S30 is a new retro handheld that just came out. I'll put links in the description if you want to take a look at this a little bit more. I really have enjoyed using this system so far. It does mimic the 8-bit Doe uh, controllers, the one that you've seen pr predominantly that I've used, the SN30 Pro uh, Xbox Edition. It does look very similar to that. It looks very similar to the traditional Super Nintendo controllers. It's got a good feel to it. The screen's a nice quality screen. The colors are very vibrant on it. And I'll put links into my review of the console a little bit more in depth and some of the tech specs. But I wanted to go ahead and highlight Super Nintendo in this video. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, let's go ahead and scroll down and find a game to play. Let's do Asterix and Obelix. It's been a long time since I've played this game. The old Info Games logo. We'll go ahead and play this in English. Pretty sure I chose English, but it is in French. One player start. Take that. So it's typical side scrolling. Oh, come back here. No, oh, there I got you. I'm just strolling through the park here, fighting soldiers. They have an issue with my pants. I think they don't like how I, how I wear my pants. Or maybe it's the hair. Or maybe it's Maybelline. Britannia. Get on the boat. Oh. <laughs> I got stuck. Got bouldered to death first. No. Oh. <laughs> that was unfair. Come on. 
They don't like my ship now. Well, guys, that was Asterix and Obelix for the Super Nintendo. Runs great, plays great. It's a lot of fun. Go ahead and try it out. It's an older game. Came out, I believe, in 93. Um, but it's still fun to play. So go ahead and take a look at that. Asterix and Obelix, Super Nintendo on the Pocket Go S30. Let's close that out and let's go ahead and find a second game. All right, let's go ahead and scroll down and find a game to play. There are a ton of Super Nintendo games. Chrono Trigger, always a great game. Let's go ahead and try Donkey Kong Country. All right, 1994, Nintendo. We'll go ahead and select option one, player one. Congo Jungle. No, get up. All right, come on. Give me the big guy, I don't want him. Thank you. Yeah, let's ride the rhino. Give me banana. Give me banana. I got Kong. Hey -oh. Banana. No, not good. Ropey Rampage. Donkey Kong Country was always a great game to play. Rare did a very nice job with this game. I'll give him that.
No, no, get back up there. <laughs> Not what's supposed to happen there, guys. But it's a lot of fun to play. Uh, even the, I mean, I don't know if one is really ever was not fun between the, uh, the Super Nintendo ones, the ones that came out on the Game Boy portable systems, the newer ones. blow up. It's a scary sight when you see a Donkey Kong with TNT. Definitely don't recommend messing with that guy. That was cheap. Alright guys, well that's Donkey Kong Country Super Nintendo on the Pocket Go S30. Game runs beautifully. The colors are really nice on here. Um, as I said, I love the screen on this system it's very vibrant um, overall for playing the older games this system handles it very very nicely and the feel of it it feels like you're holding a controller i mean maybe it's muscle memory because you're used to holding these retro style controllers that are, resemble this um, but it they play really nice and they they're very comfortable to use um one nice thing i'll say on this um that I haven't really seen people talk about too much. Once you start playing the retro games, if you're playing them extended periods of time, some of them can get a little hot. Uh, some of them can make your hands sweat. One nice thing with this, the material they use here, although it is plasticky, it's, in longer sessions, I've had no nothing negative to say. It plays very nice throughout, uh, throughout the, the longer sessions, and it's, it's comfortable to hold. So that's one very positive thing I have to say about the Pocket Go S30. But again, that's Donkey Kong Country, Super Nintendo on the Pocket Go S30. So let's go ahead and back out. Close content. And let's go ahead and find another game to play. Go ahead and do F1 Pole Position 2. Always love a good racing game. We're going to do the World Grand Prix 1993 Human Corporation. It's always a good sign when it's a human. As I always said, never trust a game created by aliens. Who are we going to be? Mario Andretti. We got Michael Schumacher. Now, to tell you how old this game is, this was Michael Schumacher before he was with Ferrari.
free run. I'm just gonna try it out, see how it feels. And we're off. It plays like a, I mean, an older style racing game, which is fine. I've always enjoyed the older style racing games. Some more so than even the modern ones. The modern ones, of course, by far are going to look prettier. But at times I feel like the modern ones focus so much on the graphic side of it that they forget about the gameplay. I'm off the road. But graphically, for a Super Nintendo game, this looks nice. And the road adjustments are fine. Your acceleration, your brakes. Sounds done well on this. So let's go pack. Nope, back up. This is not what I wanted. Let's go to race. And we're off. Moving up the pack. Pretty sure there should have been a collision there. <laughs> it would have been a little nice from this game if it was not directly behind the car, but it would have given you a little bit of a... Oh, there was an accident there. What the heck, guys? Stop hitting me. Stop hitting me! Leave me alone! A little bit of isometric view would have been nicer here. Because it makes the world look kind of flat, like in one of the older uh, flight games. Where you would see whatever you're looking at, and then you just see sky above half the screen. That's kind of like what it is here. And I think it would have been better, too, if they put a, your position on screen, like larger, showing you where you are in the pack.
<laughs> well, guys, I'm going to pause it right there. This is F1 Pole Position 2 for the Super Nintendo. It plays perfectly fine on there. Um, graphically, it looks really nice. Um, there are a couple things I would change in the game, but for what it is, it's a great game uh, to try on the system there if you like uh, Formula 1 racing. So again, F1 Pole Position 2, Super Nintendo, being played on the Pocket Go S30. So let's go ahead and back out, and we're going to find another game to play. So let's go down the list and find a game to try out. Magic Boy, Mario Paint, <laughs> Frankenstein, Mega Man Soccer, yes. Let's go ahead and try out Mega Man X2. Game start. And we're off. Mega Man to the rescue. There we go. Look at Mega Man go.
He's blind to what's happening around him. Collection is proceeding as scheduled. Come on. Let's get a little more Mega Man in. wheel gator as opposed to a real gator Ow, spikes, spikes of doom. All right, guys, with that, we'll let the wheel gator live another day. But next time, we'll get him. This is Mega Man X2. It ran perfectly fine here on the Pocket Go S30. Uh, sounds great, looks great, the controls are fine. If you like Mega Man games, there are a slew of them playable on the Pocket Go S30, including this one, Mega Man X2, Super Nintendo, being played on the Pocket Go S30. Thanks so much for watching, guys. So let's go ahead and back out of this game. And we're going to go ahead and locate another game to try out. True Golf Classics. Let's see, what should we choose? Red and Stimpy Games. I did put one of those on this, uh, the channel of a little bit ago, if you haven't uh, seen any of the Run and Stimpy games, I played one on, I believe it was the Genesis I did it on. We'll go ahead and do Rocco's Modern Life. Another Nickelodeon property. Rocco's Modern Life. Spunky's Dangerous Day. Let's go see what Spunky got in trouble with this time.
Look at that punch. Don't get in Rocco's way. He'll wallop you. Pshaw. Maybe not. Ooh. Dog bone. The jumping physics here are weird. I guess because he's kind of hopping more. Epe, stay away, stay away, stay away, stay away. Okay. Where's Spunky? Did I lose him? Did he drown? Really? Come on. Come on. Jump up, boy. Jump up. Keep... I don't know. <laughs> Rocco doesn't have the smartest dog in the world. No, back up. I want to go up there. Ooh, got it. Hop back down. I can't kill the crabs, I don't think. There you go. Where is he? Alright, there's a the bone. Oh, so that's what's stopping him. Come back here. Come here, dog dog. This way. Come with come with Daddy Rocco. Come on, come with Daddy Rocco.
Where is he? Oh, he's all the way at the end. He didn't even wait for me. <laughs> I thought he was still underwater there. Well, way to go. Way to go, Spunky. Well, guys, that is Rocco's Modern Life for the Super Nintendo being played on the Pocket Go S30. Fun little game. Uh, it's one of Nick Nickelodeon's properties back in the mid-90s when they used to make licensed games for all sorts of TV shows, which they tend not to do anymore. Which is really a shame, because it was, you know, it gave some fun games there. Uh, the Ren and Stimpy games were always fun to play. Even the Simpsons games. Uh, and the spin-offs there, like the Itchy and Scratchy game or Krusty's Fun House. But uh, all fun games to try out. So again, this is Rocco's Modern Life, Super Nintendo, on the Pocket Go S30. All right, let's scroll through and let's find a game to try out. Always liked this game. I love the packaging it came with. Maximum Carnage. Let's go ahead and try out Star Fox. Go ahead and push start. We'll just use that. see how this plays. Corneria, the base. Thank you for the good luck. I appreciate it. A little bit of sound crackling. This is one of the only games I, I don't remember hearing that in any other games. Especially for Super Nintendo. But it's playing okay. So there's a little bit of sound crackling there earlier, but overall the game actually is controls fine. 
responsive. Let go of the bomb. Bombs away. Bombs away. So the game is very playable. It can't be one of the more difficult games to play because it uses um, a separate chip in the actual cartridge. So the emulation on it is a little harder to do, a little more taxing, but it's playing fine. Controls work fine. That's a building. <laughs> when you hit buildings, you still hit them. <laughs> Explosion bomb. Oh man down But no, it works fine. Um, I just don't want to do a quick playthrough on this uh, Someone had asked about seeing Star Fox on here. So I wanted to show that off It plays really nice um, I said there was a little crackling with the sound at the beginning But other than that the sound's been decent I mean the controls are fine So everything works okay with that. So again, this is Star Fox Super Nintendo on the Pocket Go S30. Um, overall, very playable. Uh, to me, it plays fine. Uh, the only thing I saw that was not perfect was at the beginning, the sound was a little crackling. But that seems to have resolved itself. I don't know if it'll show up again, but it's it wasn't that big of an issue to me anyway. So there you guys go. Star Fox for the Super Nintendo system on the Pocket Go S30. So let's go ahead and close that out. And let's go ahead and let's find a game to try out. Super Bomberman, always a fun game. Super Chase HQ, good game. Godzilla. Super Mario All-Stars, we did do a video on that. Let's do Mario Kart. Always good to try that out. Super Mario Kart. It can be Mario, the princess, Bowser, his little minions, Luigi, Yoshi, the big ape, or Mushroom Head, the Toadster. And we'll do the Mushroom Cup race, only appropriate. And here we go. If you have not played this, it is different. I mean, it's the same general concept as the modern ones, but everything's two-dimensional. <laughs> Except the bananas. They kind of stick out a little bit, but your coins and your boxes. Ooh, almost got hit there. Final lap. No! She got ahead of me. Not for long. How dare her. I think I was going to let her get ahead of me just because she's a lady. No way, princess. She tried to get me at the end. You saw that, guys, right? She done snuck up on me. 
Don't appreciate that, guys. Don't appreciate that. She's trying to take my glory. Look at that. How close? Three tenths of a second. That's uh, that's mighty close. Mighty close, guys. Well, it runs beautifully. Um, it's a game you can play for hours, really. And unfortunately, with N64 not being compatible right now with the Pocket Go, if you do want to play Mario Kart, this is your go-to, unless you want to go to the Game Boy versions, which there are several that are really excellent to play. The Game Boy Advance one is great. The Game Boy Color one is very nice. So there are some options, but unfortunately for console, home console-wise, this is the only Mario Kart that's playable on the S30 currently. Hopefully down the road they do get N64 games on here and you can play those, but for now that is not an option. So this is Super Mario Kart for the Super Nintendo system being played on the Pocket Go S30. Again, everything here was beautiful, runs great, feels great. Try it out, definitely. If you've never played Mario Kart, um, definitely nice to see where it started from and see how much it's changed since then. Keeps the same feel, keeps the same style of gameplay, but there has, there's there been a lot of additions to it. But it's, whether you go retro or new one, Mario Kart is always a fun game to play. So there we go, Super Mario Kart, Super Nintendo, on the Pocket Go S30. All right, let's go ahead and back out of this. And let's find another game to try out. Super Street Fighter 2. The new challengers. Game start. Super battle. And this is where we got new people to play as. Like T Hawk. Where are we going first? Hong Kong. So you get Fei Long. My first console Street Fighter game was actually Super Street Fighter 2. When I was a kid, I was more of a Mortal Kombat fan, personally. So, although I did play Street Fighter 2 and Street Fighter 2 Championship Edition, the first one I actually got as a kid was Super Street Fighter 2. And it's a good game. 
Um, I enjoyed it a lot. When I had it, I said I was more of a Genesis person than a Super Nintendo kid. So my f collection was on, on the Genesis itself. But I have uh, added some Super Nintendo games as I got older. Although, I'll always be preferential to the Genesis. There we go. But that is uh, defeating Fei Long there. So this is super. So your missing teeth will remind you of my victory. Vicious. Vicious, Cammy. So this is Super Street Fighter 2 for the Super Nintendo being played on the Pocket Go S30. So that'll be eight games that we played on the Super Nintendo. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, I'll recap there. We did start off with Asterix and Obelix. And then we went to Donkey Kong Country. F1 Pole Position 2. And then we went to Mega Man X2. Rocco's Modern Life. Star Fox. Super Mario Kart. And then we've concluded here today with Super Street Fighter 2. All Super Nintendo, all being played on the brand new Pocket Go S30. Hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked the video, hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel and follow me on Twitter at 3 do Gaming. Other than that, guys, I will see you guys around. Take care. And I hope you follow along with my channel. We'll be uh, posting some more videos up. And then in the coming days, and we'll continue trying out the S30 here, Retro Pocket 2, the RG351P, a whole slew of other consoles. We've got some PlayStation 5 gameplay that's going to be coming up, some PS Vita, Nintendo Switch, all sorts of stuff. So, hope you like it. All right, guys, take care.